finally at last, someone in the broadcasting family has summoned the courage to put into proper structure a company that will nurture, train, groom and mentor the next generation of broadcasters and public speakers in the best professionally acceptable tenets of broadcasting. Benched mark in tandem with internationally acceptable standards. Bemiliki Oscar Oyinson deserves our commendation for helping to fill the yearning gap in the area of organized training and grooming of budding broadcasters, public speakers, and on-air personalities. Indeed, Bemiliki Oscar Oyinson's very timely intervention in correcting this anomaly will nip in the bud the untold abuse that the profession of broadcasting particularly has been subjected to over the years as experienced in the daily mockery of the true tenets of the profession by half-baked pretenders who are giving the public a wrong impression of the noble profession of broadcasting in Nigeria, which is to make broadcasting in Nigeria the envy of the world. Bemileke Oscar Oyinsos MC Company is the resource site for bespoke masters of ceremonies, a platform poised to produce the best MCs in Nigeria and the world through training, mentorship, evaluation, and constant grooming. The vision of the MC company is to be the one-stop resource center for companies and those who patronize them in Nigeria and beyond. Bemileki Oscar Oyinso, son of veteran broadcaster Chief Sonya Oyinso, who discovered the likes of multilingual broadcaster B.C. Olatilo, was a director in the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. He was instrumental to the establishment of Nigeria's very first indigenous languages channel, Radio Nigeria 3, which was headed by B.C. Olatilo. Although he studied chemical engineering in Unilag, Bimiliki Oscar Oyinsa has a master's degree in media enterprise and communications from the Pan-Atlantic University. Bimiliki Oscar Oyinso has worked in Unilag 105.1 FM, Inspiration FM, and City FM. He is a co founder of Amber 2 Media Limited. There is no gain saying the fact that broadcasting is the broader umbrella under which public speakers, compares, or masters of ceremonies, and even comedians draw inspiration. This also accounts for why practitioners in all these areas are more preponderantly either practicing broadcasters, retired or failed broadcasters, so to speak, in analyzing the situation and proffering a way forward about how to correct the errors noticed in the way practitioners in all these areas discharge their functions. I wish to register what I call the following humble and candid suggestions. To make a success as a practitioner in any of these areas, either as a broadcaster, public speaker, compare, or a comedian. These points are sacrosanct. 1. One must read any and everything to keep up to date about any subject. Don't forget that, as one of the greatest purviers of the noble profession of broadcasting and the greatest legend in the art of masters of ceremonies, role model, and mentor to many in broadcasting, the golden voice, Ike Nandaguba, always reminded us Broadcasters should at all times dominate any environment in which they find themselves. The correlation here is that one has to be properly grounded and equipped in terms of news as it is breaking and knowledge about the world in general to be able to dominate his environment. Broadcasters are supposed to be the standard bearers and pace setters in all areas of life. Broadcasters, compares, public speakers and even comedians must have the passion and love for the profession. For broadcasters, public speakers and compares, one quality that cannot be compromised is a very good commanding voice with an arresting and compelling diction. They must always be ready to match up to the world of glamour they are operating in. Therefore, broadcasters, especially on TV, public speakers, compares, and even comedians, must make it a point of duty to dress in a most respectable manner, through which they will command the respect and admiration of the public. Remember that, once the audience is put off by your appearance, 
That in itself is a vote of no confidence in your performance. The practitioner may have to struggle throughout the entire program to gain back the confidence lost, which may also negatively affect his overall performance. However, broadcasters, especially TV newscasters, must avoid overdressing to avoid distracting viewers. Moderate dressing is the key. Broadcasters, whether presenters, announcers, newsreaders or newscasters, must keep strictly to the professional tenets of the noble profession. Accuracy, objectivity and low tolerance for sensationalism. Remember that old but timeless refrain, if you are in doubt, leave out. Practitioners must be 100% sure after a long research has been carried out and the authenticity of the story is ascertained before a final pronouncement is made about it. Broadcasters must exercise extra restraint and precaution in the way they carry out their professional beats in this era of politics in such a way that they are not seen to take sides. In the area of pronunciation of words, the names of people and places, the norm in those days was that every announcer is duty-bound to seek the advice of colleagues closer to the geopolitical zone of the names in question. Words, names of people and places play a major role in the delivery of news on all radio and television stations globally. All media practitioners must realize that they can effect both negative and positive change in the society. However, we advise that all practitioners should be on the side of positively affecting the society in the way they perform their chores. Let's look at the do's and don'ts that should guide the performance of the public speakers, compares and comedians. It is important for the public speakers, compares or comedians to have a proper grasp of the topic at hand, on which he must have carried out an extensive research so that he is in total control of the program. The Ike Nandagoba model of thorough scripting is worthy of emulation by all those who want to be the toast in this business. They should be very measured in their interventions and avoid getting involved in discussions instead of their roles as moderators. Public speakers, compares and comedians must draw the line about the kind of things to say and not to say at events to see that they are not out of step. Once honest assessment of the state of things as concerns the role of comedians in the entertainment and broadcasting chain. While one agrees that there is nothing wrong in comedians also doubling as masters of ceremonies, it should be borne in mind without any doubt that not all comedians can deliver professionally as compares. The story of comedy in the contemporary sense that captured national consciousness cannot be appropriately told without a special mention of John Chuku, of blessed memory, whose exploits ruled the airwaves in the 80s and 90s. One of the prodigies of John Chuku was B.C. Olatilo, who learnt a lot under his wings in their days in the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. B.C. Olatilo was that person that brought Atoyota Akpobume, whose stage name is Alibaba, face to face with Nigerians through the pigeon program he presented on Radio Nigeria 3 called Another Day Don't Break and then Night Train on NTA Network Service which was produced by Dala Dibako and presented by BC Olatilo. Alibaba was able to make his mark with very strong jokes that resonated well with Nigerians and so came comedy that took Nigeria by storm. It is not surprising that today Alibaba has made a lot of fame and fortune through comedy. He has also opened the way for a long list of newcomers on the scene who have become success stories in their own right. I have a book coming out called All Protocols of Zero and it's about being an MC and all of that. Now, one part of that book devotes time to how the MC should carry himself. When you get to the event, you are the master of the ceremony. You define the flow of the event. I mentioned here, define yourself yeah. and set the tone and what is in store. In the program as well, you define how the program flows. You tell them, sir, we're going to invite you to dance now. You guys have 10 minutes, the DJ will play for a while and then they. You're telling them what to do. 
instead of taking orders. If you're taking orders, you're not the master of ceremony. Mm. Meanwhile, you're not trying to be gossip. You're telling them what you know. Is this is your workshop. Now, what to do and not to do as a comedian? One, to stay at the top of their game. Comedians must be in tune with events as they are happening around the world so they can churn out on the spur of the moment jokes. Comedians must avoid repeating jokes or jokes of fellow comedians. Secondly, and most importantly, comedians must be wary of the kind of jokes they tell. They must put into consideration the sensibilities of people and not injure them. For someone who's not had um, any background knowledge in broadcasting, but from what you've said now, you know, we like I see that there is a need to kind of veer into it. What do you think that kind of person can do? Because from what you've said, now being a successful compare, there are some other, so many other things that you need, and it's not just carrying a mic. There's some, some kind of training. So for someone who doesn't have the background or I'm not an OAP who has done all those kind of things, and I want to stand in that position, what do you think I can do to upgrade my skills? Try and study. He also alluded to it. Study your environment, not on the day of the event. Make sure that you have an idea of those who are going to be headlining the guest list. Know a lot about them. But don't pour everything out because time may not permit you to do that. And uh, make sure that you uh, do other research into them. That could be maybe ask questions from those who are closer to them that you have access to. All of that is going to help you when you, I mean, when you start talking about them. The man himself will be impressed. How did this man get all of this? You know, beyond what you read on the internet. If you have some people who are closer to them, like the organizers or something, who know a bit about them, uh, just make sure that you uh, pour out as much as you can. But be very sure that this information you've ascertained and you're sure that uh, it is the correct thing to do. Otherwise, you leave it. You, you'll notice I said a few things about that. Uncle B, how have you been able to adapt to the change in technology? Uh, take, for example, new media versus the traditional media. Uh, my second question is, have you ever been intimidated by a crowd in the course of your career? The master of ceremonies uh, should also watch, if you have an, a chairman of that event, and for that event, at times we've, as we've seen a lot of, uh, uh, how do you put those things? Uh, um, competition. Some chairmen, <laughs> some people who have the opportunity of having the microphone for the first time, maybe, they want to control the event and it leads to a lot of um, confusion between the, uh, the MC and the chairman. So uh, we, you also have to study that. You have to study the kind of person that you have. Some might just leave it to you to, you to do. If they will say so, that they hand it over to you. But some will be struggling it with you. Not just the MC and the comedian now. Some chairmen also do it. They also do it. Somebody said, have I been intimidated? I've never been intimidated, but I've, been, I've had problems with some chairmen who want to steal the show. Uh, we have no less than 4 million viewers on our website, by the way. You can check it out, even on your phones, on your uh, tablets and all of that. We're on www.biscontworld.org. Uh, we posted the coronation of the Oba of Benin. How many months ago now? About just a month ago. We have over 50,000 views in that. You know, these things, you can check it. You, I mean, they, there's something they call a... Uh, uh, there's a way to check it anyway. It's, uh, then the Alakija wedding, which is just last when? It's the last Saturday. It has about 10,000 views on it. Check it out. It's a thing you can even check right on your phone. So. So we're working with that, and um, what we want to do now, take proper control so that we'll be making all, all the money that, is, that should be accruing to us, shouldn't be going to all, all other people. That we've not been able to sort out. I, want, I know you have been to so many events uh, lately. Maybe my dad is not too social in that aspect lately, but I know you too well. You are the cosmopolitan kind of person that I've been through generations, and um, till date, you're still attending events. 
you are part of the people that pioneered what we call the master of ceremonies and uh, you've been everywhere. What is the standard? How do you rate the present standard of compares um, on a scale of 10 perhaps? And um, if that is taken into consideration, what are the things that have been repeatedly done by the present day MCs that we should desist from? that you don't want us to encourage or to continue with. Because from this academy now, we are going to be pioneering um, an institution where we need to pass down some kind of knowledge to those coming up or those who see us or watch us um, perform on stage. That, those are my just uh, quick questions. Thank you. Be precise in your presentation and go straight to the point. People hate being repetitious, but well, many of the prominent people might be in a hurry. So give them the stuff that will make them note you or notice you and say, who was that MC? Uh, Mr. Soso, that event you called me to, who was that MC? Can you get him for me? That kind of a thing. I don't know whether um, Oscar will be happy with that kind of suggestion because he wants to capture everybody <coughs> in one slot. But I guess when that is structured, or Tom Dick and Harry won't call themselves MC. Humor and wit. That's where a lot of MCs fall. All right. All right. They look at what they call riddles and jokes. And all those, that's where we started in the 50s. Now it's no longer applicable. Riddles and jokes is now replaced by humor and wit. You've got to be intelligent and educated. But they must be measured. They must be meaningful. And they must be catchy. Okay? If you want to joke, get it measured, meaningful and catchy. Now be resourceful. Please. Be resourceful. He said it so many times that you must read what other people are saying. Read every and all kinds of books and magazines. Because Everything you do, some idea comes out, you know, at the end of the day. Watch programs. Watch the BC Light in the show. Look at the kind of things he does. It's innovation all of the time. He brings life into his program. You feel like sitting for our NAP program. I don't know when he signs out and says, that's the end of the program. The next one, you say, ah, uh -uh. have I spent one hour? That is style for you.